Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you are into game development, 3D art, or just love collecting high quality free assets for your projects, you're in for a treat today. As some of you may know, Epic Games gives away three incredible asset packs for free. They are always packed with everything you need to level up your projects. But here's the twist, even though it's only February, Epic is actually giving us a sneak peek at March's free assets early. That's right, we're getting next month's free assets ahead of schedule. So in this video, I'm going to break down everything that we get inside of these asset packs. We'll take a closer look of what's inside each pack, how you can use them in your projects, and why you should absolutely grab them before they're gone. And trust me, you do not want to miss out on these ones. Whether you're building a game, creating cinematic, or just experimenting with Unreal Engine 5, these assets are the ultimate game changer. Speaking of Unreal Engine 5, if you ever dreamed of creating your own game, I've got something special for you. My Unreal Engine 5 multiplayer survival game course will teach you everything you need to know, giving you a step-by-step -step guidance to build a fully functional multiplayer-ready game from scratch. Whether you're a beginner or advanced user looking to level up your skills, this course will equip you with the knowledge, tools, and confidence to bring your vision to life. So what are you guys waiting for? Let's dive right in, and don't forget to check out the course link in the description to start your game development journey today. So the first asset pack is this sci-fi jungle biome, and basically this is a very high quality AAA looking environment, and I can kind of full screen it for you guys. But yeah, check this out. So you can look up in the sky and see all these floating islands, all the trees, the plants, and everything in this environment is very detailed, all the way down to things like the ground. But this environment is absolutely incredible. This kind of reminds me of Avatar movie. I think the newest movie, The Way of the Water, or maybe just the old one. But yeah, check this out. This is just an incredible environment. And the neat thing is it includes this cool character controller Sort of like this third person character that you can zoom in and inspect things. Has some basic movement and locomotion. So it's actually kind of cool having this character controller. I might use this in my other uh, asset showcase videos. But yeah, check out some of the plants here. This is like this sci-fi environment. And the map is actually decently large enough for you to have a nice playable area. So I'll show you guys that in a second. But yeah, just look at the environment. It also kind of reminds me of the environment from like the Ark 2 trailer. So there was like these floating islands and we saw these dinosaurs flying. So yeah, kind of reminds me of that a little bit. And check this out. You can even switch into the first person mode. So we switch into first person. You can see that there's these physical interactions with some of the plants. So if you run into some of the plants, you can see that they actually move out of the way. And interact with the player so just kind of neat interaction system that it comes included here but honestly I really love the player controller that you can switch the first person and third person view has this nice smooth movement and so yeah let's just go ahead and actually check out the level so if I eject out of here so yeah this is the environment it's incredibly well detailed as you can see and I believe some of the assets in here are spawned with PCG, so they're spawned procedurally. Uh, some of them, not all of them. So if I go ahead and zoom out, I'll show you guys the actual level size. So yeah, I love these mountains. This is a landscape. This entire uh, chunk over here is all landscape. And then you can see here, these are like the procedural mountains that are actually spawned through PCG, I believe. So as you can see, I select one, it selects all of them. So honestly, pretty neat environment. And you can see this is sort of like the playable area, or at least the forest area that we explored here earlier. But yeah, this definitely kind of reminds me of, you know, the Avatar movie with all the, you know, sci-fi plants. Yeah, so let's go ahead and actually check out the showcase level. Let's go into the showcase. So here's the showcase level. These are all the props that come included. So you can see we have things like the lily pads, the different wood pieces, some of the interesting plants. And honestly, I love the color and really the post-processing uh, volume in this level because it brings out the colors of all the plants and makes everything look really green. Look at all the unique trees, some of these coral sort of looking trees. And then we have you know, these bigger roots and vines. And then in the back here are all like the rock pieces that make up the floating islands. 
Interesting enough, they do have a lot of these cliff pieces. I didn't really see much, you know, cliffs in the demo. But yeah, look at all of the different rock formations. So quite a bit of interesting assets that come included in here. And honestly, I think one of the better packs that we've gotten from the free assets in quite a while. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this one down in the comments down below. Okay, so the next asset pack is this wooden props environment pack. So basically, it's a bunch of these wooden props. And if I zoom up here, give you guys some idea of the detail, you can see that it has sort of this realistic environment detail. So it's going for the realistic style. So you can see all the detail on the wood, those metal brackets there. These are like the fence posts. You can see some of these logs are tied together. Honestly, I love this asset pack and all the detail on the wooden logs and everything about it. My only gripe about this pack is the fact that everything in this environment comes in sort of like this black uh, charcoal colored of wood. So honestly, I wish they would have included different variants of colors. But yeah, look at the splintering of this wood. Honestly, it looks really good. So you can use this as sort of like a shipwreck as well. So you got different barrels there, some chains, and you can see some of the, you know, boardwalks you can use. It'd honestly, be really good for first person, third person game, or even a top down game. So even some platforms over there. But yeah, my only gripe with this pack is the fact that they didn't include any sort of material that can modify the color or tint of these different wooden pieces. Of course, you can always go in and add in, you know, a blend and, you know, a color node to blend and change the tint of the wood yourself. But it's just a missed opportunity, the fact that they didn't have, you know, a material instance created and, you know, just have different tints or different colors for these wood pieces. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this asset pack. Honestly, pretty nice overall. I kinda wanna make a game, quick game using these assets. I feel like this month in particular, we got some really neat stuff. So you can com definitely combine these together with the sci-fi environment and make something pretty neat. So yeah, maybe I should make like an environment or level design sort of video using these assets that we got this month. Yeah, let me know down in the comments what you think and let's go ahead and move on to the next pack. Okay, so the next pack or the last pack is this elf stylized character. As you can see, he has this cartoony look. His armor is sort of this hand-painted design and it's completely animated and rigged to the epic skeleton. So let's go ahead and simulate this so you guys can see all the different animations. So it looks like he has some custom animations included, which is nice. So beyond the actual template, you can see he has some punching, fighting animations, some attack animations, some death animations. We have drawing the sword, falling, jumping, and some ready stance poses. Okay, some more jump animations. Looks like we have some running, sword out running animations. And it looks like this thing is fully modular, so I didn't miss that, miss mentioning that. So you can see here in the back, here's all the different modules. There's a character, the base model with all the different parts separated. So things like the belt, the armor piece, the hair, the clothing, the pants, all of this is fully modular. So that is a neat little detail. So you can see some of the other animations and it looks like these are the epic skeleton. So it's a rig to the epic skeleton. So you can see all the basic animations like the locomotion, running, jumping, all that stuff. So yeah, that is all the assets that we get for this month or the first half of March. Again, it is a little bit early this month. I think the way that Epic is doing these free asset giveaways is that they're doing it in every two weeks. So whether that falls within the actual month that they usually give it away or in the previous month, I guess it doesn't really matter because they're just doing it every two weeks. So I think we're gonna have weird cases like this where we get three asset packs in one month. Anyways, just a little weird. I thought I might mention it, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about these free assets down in the comments down below. I definitely like the sci-fi environment. Maybe we'll have to do something on the channel using that asset pack. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. So hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next one.